This next knot I'm going to show you is an alternative to use to tying the lead of your trap net to a tree when the bowline is not practical. And when the bowline is not practical is typically when you have a tree very close to the shore that you have to tie onto as your anchor tree and you have a lot of rope and uh, it's just inconvenient to tie the bowline with, with a long length of rope. So an alternative ver version that is often used nowadays, take a bite. We've talked about the bite. This is just bend your rope and, and have a double portion of rope. That's a bite. Pass the bite around the tree in a half turn and then simply make a series of half hitches with that doubled portion of line. There's one, half hitch again, two, half hitch, three. So that you can use to tie your trap net lead to a tree where the bowline is not practical. In the past, often trap nets might be attached to a tree for 10 days or more. And in such a case, you didn't want a binding knot like this one that might inhibit the tree's growth. In our case, uh, NSCIN nets, we're moving them every day. So there is no knot that's on there for a long period of time to restrict growth. Once again, you've got a bite. Pass the bite around the tree. It doesn't matter where the ends of the rope are because I don't need them. I just tie this knot on the bite wherever I need to tie the knot. So half turn around the tree, one, two, three half hitches.